Right now we're going to look at the left click menu in Micro Niche Finder. Once you've done a search, you can click on any of the return keywords to get more information and do more in-depth research. I'm going to start by looking at the niche market keyword right here. As you can see, it pulls up this great menu, and the very first one is what's this. If you click this link, it'll open up a Google search, just in case you're not sure what the keyword means. You can also click it again, and it'll bring up new searches. The very first one is a narrow dig. This search uses a specific search result based on the seed keyword. So if you click that, it'll do a whole new search on that exact keyword. We've also got a broad dig that actually only applies to keywords that already have the original search phrase. So let's see. Right here, if you were to click this one, click new searches, broad dig. As you can see in the bottom left, exactly the term that it'll search for. So if you click this, it'll search for review. Next up, we got the LSI search. This is a search using a specific search result phrase based on the seed keyword, but it uses latent semantic indexing, which is a subject related indexing for new keywords. And then lastly, in the new searches, we also have buying keywords. This will perform a search using a specific search result phrase, but use buying keywords that are already built into Micro Niche Finder to return new keywords. Next up on our menu is Google results. This is pretty self-explanatory, but the Google search returns normal Google search results for the selected phrase. If you click on it, it'll open up this little nifty window in Micro Niche Finder. We've also got ex Google exact phrase search, which will return Google search results for the selected phrase in quotes. You can also search for affiliate programs, and that will do an affiliate search in Google. We've also got Google Trends, which will search Google Trends for the selected phrase. Same for Google News and Google Product Search. We've also got unlicensed commercial and non-commercial content. This will return content related to the selected phrase that is free to use or share or free to not use and share. As you can see, it's a regular search with this search option checked right here. Next, we've got other non-Google searches. This is where you can look up ClickBank, Amazon, and eBay. Once you click this, it'll open up the websites and do a search right there for you. We've also got lookups. This way you can check domains through Domain Quick, um, a domain tools lookup, which is who is. You can also check and see if there's eHow articles or eZine articles for that keyword that you're looking for. You can also use this menu to copy phrases. For example, if you want to copy just the phrase niche market, click copy this phrase, and you'll automatically copy it. You can also copy bulk phrases. For example, if you want to copy all of them to export it, and then open up, bam, just like that. Next, we've got create tags. This is super useful if you've already got a keyword that you're working on and you want to get similar keywords to add to your blog posts, articles, etc. So you can create tags from either checked phrases or unchecked phrases. Say we check a couple here, click this again, and click create tags from checked phrases. And then it will create tags separated by commas. And lastly, we've got check selected results. This is actually just mostly for organization. You can check all or uncheck all results just from this menu. What you can also do is say, for instance, instead of using a filter, you just want to check all the results that are over a thousand local search count. Click the last keyword right here that has a thousand. Choose check to this point. And now it checks all the keywords above whatever that keyword is. And then, of course, we can come over here and copy checked phrases. Bam. Just like that. So there you have it, our super duper very useful left click menu in Micro Niche Finder. Thanks for watching.